Hi, I'm Steve. I'm a volunteer here at the Champaign Aviation Museum from Urbana. And for the last four, four and a half years, I've been working on the outer wings. So the outer wing is an 18-foot section that bolts on to the inner wing, which is a 25-foot section. And then there's a wing tip out beyond the, the last station on the outer wing. We took apart the outer wings that we had, uh, used some of the original rectangular tube, but these gussets and the spar caps were all sandblasted clean, repainted, and riveted back together again. So this is really all new construction. The ribs were all made new, uh, and we're working on getting corrugation to put over the center section of the outer wing. That's a stiffening uh, layer that goes longitudinally down the, the whole length of the wing. What we've been doing here recently is putting on the trailing edge. The trailing edge is a, a set of ribs that are cupped at the back that allow the aileron to, to rotate over these hinge points. It's made of a lower skin, an upper skin, and then some uh, shingle-like uh, pieces that go from rib to rib. So once the outer skin is is made, we're going to have to take this all off so that we can get into the middle part of the wing and rivet. Another gentleman is working on the uh, leading edge, if you want to come around here. These are removable, I assume, because they got damaged often enough they had to take them off. They're actually pins and clips that they pull out and this whole uh, leading edge is a single unit. Right now it's clecoed up and they're getting ready to rivet section by section on to the ribs. So this will be then again removable and we can get to the inside of the wing to do the riveting on the corrugation.